інноваційні технології дистанційної підготовки бойових медиків спеціальних операцій з використанням військових метавсесвітів віртуальної реальності. Ці технології дозволяють значно підвищити ефективність дій медиків в золоту годину, що збереже життя та скоротить тяжкі наслідки рецидивів поранень. Ці навчальні сценарії тактичної медицини розроблені для тренувань бойових медиків Сил спеціальних операцій США. Сценарії створювались під різні ситуації на полі бою та різні складності поранень і використовують віртуальну реальність для занурення учасників тренінгу у віртуальне поле бою за допомогою шоломів віртуальної реальності. Американські лікарі-фахівці з травматології та надання допомоги проводимуть тренінги, знаходячись безпосередньо в США. Українські медики будуть навчатися у себе вдома в Україні. І тренер, і медики будуть використовувати шоломи віртуальної реальності для спільного навчання, хоча вони будуть розділені тисячами кілометрів. Зокрема, система дозволяє за один тренінг підготувати до 100 медиків. При цьому 100 медиків можуть знаходитися в різних містах України і 20 медиків можуть знаходитися в різних містах США та Європи. Кожен медик отримає шолом віртуальної реальності і можливість навчатися і здавати заліки безпосередньо в групі з американськими фахівцями. У дальшому шоломи будуть завантажуватися різнопланові сценарії підготовки бойових медиків, за якими вони зможуть продовжувати тренуватися вже без участі фахівців. But current training methods required to maintain medical readiness are expensive, time-consuming, and limited. To meet these challenges, Simex has developed the Valor program. This virtual reality medical simulation system is designed to practice clinical and operational decision-making in a fully immersive environment, while also saving time, money, and resources. Created with over $10 million in U.S. Air Force research and development funding, Simex is already in operational use at over 20 installations within the U.S. Air Force and Defense Health Agency. Virtual reality training offers huge advantages over traditional simulation mannequins, which are expensive, cumbersome, and very limited in what they can portray. With VR, the patient can be a warfighter with a traumatic brain injury on the battlefield, a local national with multiple traumatic injuries on a medevac flight, or a contractor suffering the effects of high altitude. It's getting real hard to breathe. Simulate the wide variety of training environments from the side of the road after an IED explosion to the inside of a CV-22. The SimX system can integrate any equipment, allowing institutions to match the sets, kits, and outfits that soldiers actually carry into the field, and can simulate patient care from the point of injury on the battlefield to definitive treatment at an embriculum was designed in conjunction with experienced military medical educators and is based on standard TCCC protocols and clinical practice guidelines. Simulations for medical management include acute coronary syndrome, anaphylaxis, meningitis, seizure, and abscess. There's even a case series that includes veterinary resuscitation. Valor is designed to take trainees from the point of injury through prolonged field care and transport. Based on the commercial Simex platform that is in use for training doctors, nurses, and DMTs by the Mayo Clinic, University of Pennsylvania, Stanford, and many others, the Valor program is in use at military installations throughout the US, Europe, and Japan. The Valor program is a key capability in ensuring both military medics as well as non-medical personnel can maintain the highest level of mission readiness and provide life-saving combat casualty care. Далі окремий приклад сценарію дистанційного навчання медиків у віртуальній реальності. Hey guys, sorry it was kind of a rush load up there. I'm Shri, this is Rivera. Hey. I'm Wesley Glover. I was the medic for Clark's unit. Yeah, do you want to tell me what happened? Clark was in the middle of a firefight. It looked like there had been nearby explosion and we pulled him out from under some heavy debris. Okay. Uh, looks like you dropped the tube. He wasn't responding well and vomited shortly after extraction, so we intubated him for airway protection. Got it, got it. What'd you give him? I used ketamine for the intubation. Okay. Did you notice anything else on him? On my exam, he had a few cuts and scrapes, but nothing too bad. I think he might have something intracranial. 
Hopefully we can get him back in time. Yeah, uh, nice work. Um, we're going to go ahead and do a secondary, and uh, we'll, go, we'll take it from there. Okay. So far, from what I could see, I did a head to show. I didn't really see any significant abrasions, no deformities anywhere, no ecchymosis. Uh, we, should, we can probably go ahead and try rolling. Yeah, on. I'll roll. Alright, so I don't see anything on the back here, uh, no external signs of trauma there, um, no step-offs, no tenderness, no, well, obviously, but no step-offs at All least. Right. Okay. Just rolling back. Yep. Alright, oh! Oh boy. Alright, uh, I think the ketamine's starting to wear off. Um, oh, it looks like, uh, he might have lost his IV somewhere along the way, too. Uh, let's go ahead and, yeah, drop an IO in here. got an IO right here. Yeah, nice. Right, okay. here we go. You want to hit him with some ketamine? Yeah, definitely. Alright. Here we go. It's pretty tacky. Oh, he's a little hypotensive, too. Alright, All right, there we go. Okay. Whoa, 38 over. Uh, I don't have pulses here, Ooh. actually. I don't have pulses either. All right. Okay. Hey, guys, start CPR. Alright. Uh, can you take a listen to him? Um, right. Yeah. I'm going to put pads on him here. Okay. I've got. Yeah, rate 136. I'm gonna charge him up. Yeah, I can't. I, there's too much prop wash. I can't hear anything. Okay. All right, I'm gonna shock him. All right, all right, all right. All right, clear. ready? Wait, hold on, clear. All right. Okay. Check pulses. No, nothing. Yeah. You know, I, this this looks like a sinus rhythm on the monitor, so I think he's in PEA. Oh, you're right. All right. Uh, all right. You know what? Let's uh, let me take a look. Let me get him some epi. Okay. Okay. I'm just seeing if he's got any uh, any bleeding. Epi delivered. Okay. I don't see any. Free